This playthrough is rated M for Mature. We say that we can never come back from hell. This time, a miracle has happened, and it really is a miracle. Mina is near me, still unconscious, but alive, and that is the most important thing. I don't know how Mina will be marked by this adventure, but all I know is that as long as the Count is alive, Mina will be in danger. I can't avoid the confrontation any longer. Once I'm in London, I will have to confront Dracula. For Mina, and for all the men on this earth, this time, and with the help of God, we will definitively destroy the monster. I swear it. from Transylvania with Mina and the Dragon's Ring. He has proved to be a more difficult adversary than I imagined. Watch him. He must not cause us any more trouble. Is that understood? Yes, Master. I hope so for your sake. Because the hour of victory is near, and I will no longer tolerate the slightest error. A little more patience, and Jonathan Harker will cease to be a problem. And then Mina and the Dragon's Ring will once more belong to me. I have spoken. Master, it's you. It's really you. Get up and tell me that everything is in place just as I had intended. Yes, Master. Everything is ready, just as you ordered me to do. Then let my will be done. Nothing can stop me now. Nothing and nobody. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow my back here with the sequel to Dracula Resurrection, Dracula Last Sanctuary. Last time we played, Jonathan Arker escaped from Dracula's castle with Mina and Toe to head back to London, but it looks like things are not all well. Well, I mean, the game ended clearly knowing that we will have to tackle Dracula eventually, but yeah, the game kind of ends on just like, oh, you didn't actually finish it, so it's kind of almost half a game when you think about it. So this is the second part of the game. Uh, technically, there's a third part. 
Um, but uh, anyway, this one gameplay is similar to the previous one, except for a few minor differences, and we'll go about that as we play the game, and I'll talk about that as we play. But for now, let's uh, let's see how Jonathan Harker uh, has dealt with uh, uh, the first week after getting back to London. Already a week has gone by since we returned from Transylvania, and I still cannot manage to sleep. Mina's condition is very worrying. The vampire's bite is causing her to have increasingly violent attacks. Fortunately, our good friend Dr. Seward is achieving miracles in his fight against this disease without a name. And then there are these shadows that slide along the wall and seem to watch me. Is it because of the ring that I brought back from Dracula's castle? I hope that Seward can give us an explanation. He's been examining the object for a week now. I myself have finally decided to go to Carfax, Dracula's latest sanctuary in London. Perhaps I shall find some clues there that will help me to pick up his trail. All right, the game starts off pretty straightforward. He's the if we look at our um, if we look at our item inventory here by like the previous game, all you have to do is right click to get to that. Uh, but yeah, you can see the dragon ring is on your inventory as Jonathan has given it to Doctor Seward to uh, to investigate to see what to figure out. But yeah, like the you can tell that they've slightly changed the ring system in this game. It's still the same as before, you know. Uh, right. So for those who aren't familiar with this game or new to this, like uh, right click will take you to the item menu. It highlights and lets you look at all the items. Looks like we got a key and a gun this time. Heck yeah! Um, and then we've got the alternate wheel right here. What this is, these are items. In the previous game, if you clicked on an item, there wasn't like in other adventure games where it's like click on item, use on item in your inventory. They didn't have that. But in this game, they added that system. But that's the side areas here. So anything on the sidebar could possibly be combined with an item on the inner circle here. So in this case, just to show you, we got the bullets. Let's put them in our gun. Now we're men. Who needs courage when you have a gun? Um, yeah, now we're loaded and ready for bear. Um, and we're at Carfax, Dracula's old abode. You know, we can't leave this place. But yeah, see, as before, you kind of look around, try to highlight and click stuff. And they change the reticle in the center slightly, uh, the way it looks. But uh, yeah, if you see arrow up, go forward. If you see a magnifying glass, click it, and you can examine something. And if you see this symbol here that's on the screen, that just means there's nothing to do or it meant to escape back into the previous scene here. So I know a little bit about the first beginning part of the game because I had to play it for recording purposes. So um, after a while, though, we'll get to the point where I don't know much about what we're supposed to do other than just trial and error. So, yeah, the Carfax estate, huh? Well, let's, uh, we don't need that car fox, though. We don't want insurance or anything like that. <laughs> uh, oh, what's this? A plaque with some symbols on it and a little thing in the center. And that looks to be like a, I don't know, like a nail or something? I, 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 I'm not quite sure. We just know that we need to grab it because we can. So, and I'll purposely kind of like look around, just show you like the, the art and the scenes and stuff from different angles. And obviously you'll want to check them from different angles, like in the previous game, because you might miss something if you're not paying attention so ooh, get an oil can right under the tree oil can oil can man if only we had the tin woodsman when we were finding dracula then uh, we wouldn't have to worry because he'd be immune to like a lot of his attacks being a tin woodsman anyway let's check this out <laughs> oh sorry if you have a symbol with a gear and a hand it means you can interact with it without an item uh, just your hand you know let's grab the second of whatever these are and then after that let's go inside the mansion of the secondary mansion of Dracula. You know he has multiple homes and you know he, he invests in stuff. He didn't really need all this stuff but he accrues more money you know they say. Anyway if we like in the previous game we click on uh, on the item wheel click left click on that and then and if the item can be used it'll show as a green circle. So now we can enter the mansion. Hmm. Looks like this is mainly used for a cover-up because now uh yeah look it's all dusty and dirty no one's lived here boards everywhere obviously to keep Dracula from getting hit with sunlight yeah this is uh, Dracula is one of those characters where garlic sunlight all that stuff can hurt him and a knife too just like in the books and it uh, looks like we got a wooden board here uh, yeah I know those items are going to do it but it never hurts to like click an item and highlight anyway because you never know maybe you're just maybe it could work but usually like in the previous games, a lot of the solutions seem to be common sense related. So if you kind of have a general idea of what you should do, it probably is the solution. Only in like a few instances where there's a puzzle and the game pretty much tells you 
or it pretty much you can pretty much figure out what the puzzle part of it is. So let's go up here and uh, check the door. Uh, check down here. I don't think there's really anything over here. At least not at the moment, anyway. Yeah, broken uh, thing. Uh, chandelier, but I bet we can do something here. Usually, most in the previous game, there wasn't really an area that wasn't used. I mean, and uh, there was usually some reason to be able to click there. So remember that for later. So now we're in one of the main rooms. So let's take a look and see what we can find. Yeah, boarded up wounds, every, or board windows, and everything. Let's see if we can oh, check this. All right, let's see what's inside. All right, looks like we got a card with a thing on. I don't know what that is, so let's just grab that and whatever this is. Looks like handle with um, teeth maybe to clamp into something. Got a book. Oh, and a candle. Or at least that looks like a candle. Let's take a look. Yep, candlestick right there. A book. Oh, looks like we can read it. And then whatever that is, so. Oh, and that's a, oh, that's a um, compass. Huh. Never seen that type of compass before. All right, let's uh, read this book and see what's inside. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, and like most books, you turn on the corner, so. Hmm, looks like a chessboard. I wonder why that is. And some dialogue and a little wheel there. Let's see what happens when we click it. How I miss my enormous feasts. When so many of my guests tried to cross the chessboard and perished impaled when the ground gave way under their feet. The system hasn't functioned for a long time, but the trap is still there. Only the right positioning of the pieces indicates the way to reach the other side safely. Chess is a game which ends with the king being put to death, unless the pawn dies first, which is far more amusing. <laughs> Draco must have wrote this. Well, we we heard his voice coming out of the book, so it must be, but yeah. I wanted to read it myself, but oh well, the game might as well use those voice actors, so. I wonder if it's. No, you have to turn it from the bottom, so let's see what else is there. Looks like some symbols. Maybe hor those Are those horoscope symbols? I don't think so. Although we do see the symbol for women and men in here, but. Enough. These look familiar, but I can't really quite place them. Probably something for later. I wouldn't be surprised. It looks like we got the phases of the moon. This kind of reminds me of like um, like an SAT uh, thing where you'd have the page with the with the the possible like with the uh, information and then the salute and then you uh, on the other side or maybe not SAT but like an old quiz book and then the test would be on the other side. But you know, it's like uh, oh that's the thing from outside. Hmm. Carfax gives me great satisfaction. And it is a safe refuge where I can drink the blood of my victims. That is why I leave my black guard to watch the house. In that way, no intruders can go where they are not supposed to. These humans are decidedly useless. The secret mechanism that I found here is so basic that a child of four could work out how to use it in just a few minutes. I have nothing but contempt for such a childish race. Well, you need to feed on them, and you do hire them, so who's the fool now? Anyway, um, so we can solve it, but we haven't been given an incentive to solve it yet. No real reason. It's like most games. Usually you have to like be given a reason for something to happen. Uh, most of the time, anyway. So and I think that's the end of the book. Oh, it looks like a stone statue. Maybe Gar uh, Dracula. And we got... Looks like a dragon head, a wolf's head, and like a gargoyle or an imp or something like that. Okay, that's the end of that, so it's back up there. So probably something for a later puzzle or whatever, so let's keep looking around. But yeah, like in the previous game, I'm going to purposely like look around, make sure I don't miss anything, even though I did that quite a few times in the previous game. So I won't be surprised in this game if I miss a few more things. So do we have to use an orb to unlock this one like last time? Oh, no, no we don't. Oh, looks like we got... Well, we did got a candlestick, so why not get a candelabra or whatever, or a candlestick or whatever. Um, yeah, that was like, maybe, that was like, probably a telescope, I bet. But let's take a look. Yep, telescope, and yeah, candlestick, and then the candle itself. We'll probably... Can't combine them together, so we'll have to use them differently, so... Yeah, let's keep looking around. Chandelier here, a little... Uh, 
vanity or whatever vanity cover thing or whatever. Easy breezy cover. No picture. The domain in question lies in the district of Perfleet and is called Carfax, probably a corrupt form of the old French meaning four faces, given that each side of the house faces one of the cardinal points. The house is very large and dates from the Middle Ages. It may well have been an old mill once. There are a small number of houses round about, one of which is quite big and of recent construction. This serves as an asylum for the insane and is run by Dr. Seward. Maybe that's why Dr. Seward was aware of this house or whatever, because this building is nearby, but anyway. Yeah, like before, like all good adventure games, there's always going to be something behind a picture, so let's grab that. All right, let's check what that is. Looks like a picture of a diagram of some sort, maybe a press or a symbol. Can't quite tell for now, so keep looking around. Oh, and it looks like oh, old film, old film cans. Back in the day, uh, films used to be on, you know, movies and stuff like that. Used to be on films and stuff like that. I've heard at this point a lot of film is, without it being properly um, taken care of, are starting to slowly decompose, which is sad. We've actually lost like a lot of classic old movies because people didn't know how to like preserve these properly. So, uh, but yeah, there's like a lot of movies back from like the early 1900s that we'll never unless you live there or someone wrote about it, we'll never see or hear anything about it, which is kind of sad. A fan of like, I'm a fan of preserving art. So it's like, it's kind of a sad to know that we'll never know what, unless we create a time machine, we'll never know what those movies were. Well, that's what's happened to modern movies too, actually in a couple of cases. One of the more well-known examples is Event Horizon where they stored them in a, uh, they stored that movie in the salt mines of uh, um, Romania or whatever. And then they degraded or got lost or some of that. So we'll never see the alternate uh, the extended version of that movie, you know. Although I wasn't a biggest fan of that movie, but it's still sad to see that we'll never know what those extra scenes were like from from the extra cut. Anyway, as we open it up, there's the river Styx. Uh, looks like a coin or maybe the na uh, head of a nail or something like that. Some paper. Ooh, matches. We'll definitely have to use that for the candle, I bet. Like I said, a lot of the solutions are pretty um, common, uh, common sense situations. So looks like we don't have a key that I can see, so we'll have to find it. So, we have to... Oh, we can enter here. It's dark, can't see anything. Well, barely, anyway. Oh, there's a place there. I bet we need to set up some light. So, you know, let's take the candlestick. Aziz! Prepare yourself! Okay, so... Ah, now we, we see that the matches are on the side here, which means they can be used on something. Well, the only thing right here that's obvious is the candle, so click, click, haha, -ha. and now the candle is lit. And now we can put it on top of this thing. Ta da! Aziz, light! Anyway, what's here? Uh, oh. oh, I almost didn't see that. Some keys. Probably for the door there. Hmm. I wonder if that's for his black guard or whatever. I wonder if the black guard are humans or something else that are protecting his abode, but well, let's find out. Inside we go. Whoa. There's a dude in here. Huh. Is he asleep? Maybe he's one of those black guards. He's not doing anything to me, and I don't think I've been supremely quiet, so... So I can't do anything here. Alright. Let's look at this guy here. Oh. I think he might not be alive. He might not be alive anymore. Okay. Property of Jefferson Peabody, Cemetery of Highgari? Highgard? Highgare? I can't really tell. It's it's a little... Like I said, the... the, the actually, I don't think I've talked about this. I'm using the GOG version of this game, um, which apparently a lot of the Steam client... or, or uh, game client versions of the game aren't as clear as the original disc versions, which unless you have them, you're not going to get the same quality because you have to basically emulate and copy the, the disc uh, code and well, a lot of stuff around it. But anyway, it's never going to look as good. So I don't know if the original version would be clear or if it's just this how, how it was. So anyway, let's try. Ah, it's a key. Probably the door he's locked. Up. What the? Oh, God. It's one of those monsters. Or a monster of some sort. I was going to say it's one of those monsters. Take this, you, you creature. Oh, right. We don't have any silver bullets or anything like that. Uh, uh, um, oh, there's a door here. Can we lock, shoot the lock off? Yes. Inside we go. Hurry. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, there's a timer up ahead, so we gotta... Oh, excellent. Whew. Yeah, that's one of the new features of this game is the... There's a time system, so in certain situations, uh, there's gonna be... You're gonna be given a set of time to... Uh, to do something. If it if you don't, you, it's game over. So, yeah, that's one of the new features they have to game to add a bit more of a... You know, in the previous game, you can never lose? Well, in this game, you can. Quite a few times, actually, so make sure to save regularly. Now, I would, uh... I'd probably... The best time would be to save right... Well, in a game like this, you... Well, you actually wouldn't know that you could die in this game until this moment, so it's kind of a dick move that the game doesn't really... Uh, well, maybe the original book to the game maybe tells you that you could possibly die. I'm not sure. I don't have the booklet. Although, in the... Um, the website I got from Good Old Games has you can download the manual and stuff like that and read it if you want, which I haven't done it. Maybe I should. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, if we move that again, I assume he comes in and kills us. Um, you could probably. Uh, well, what I would do, I could probably show you what happens to die, but the thing is, the way my recording setup works is that it, whatever for whatever reason, it prevents me from saving the game. I don't know why. I think it has something to do with overlaying or uh, the 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 on my uh, computer or whatever and it prevents the save function for whatever reason it's like one of those like weird ticks that it's not the game's fault it's just the combination of programs i'm using it makes it impossible to save on screen i can load and i can start a new game and i can quit but i can't save it without turning off my recording program so just to kind of give you a background but find the game. So anyway, we're trying to see if we can find a way to stop this creature. Now, if you know anything about vampires from Ram Stroker's Dracula, they're... Um, Dracula, uh, garlic makes them a little woozy. They don't like that. A stake through the heart. Um, getting, getting their, their neck sliced or whatever, um, or head chopped off works, and a light. So, we need to find a way to get some light in here so we can uh, escape this creature, because otherwise, as soon as darkness appears, we're pretty much goners, because then you could probably just easily bust down the door, so... But luckily, as long as there's not a timer on the top of the screen, we can take as much time as we need. So, all right, let's look around. Now we've got a chair there. Yeah, another new feature of the game is moving objects around. Um, so you have to just decide where it should go. So obviously we don't want to put it here because we want to check what's inside. So, aha, put it over there. So we'll have to get to that later. And now we can check the the uh, uh, chimney. So now we got another one of those like pieces. Looks like we had to find four of them, probably because of the four four sides is in the name of the house uh, probably for the mechanism outside I bet let's grab that and oh almost missed that that was pretty dark we'll grab the poker I believe that's a poker let me double check yes uh, for for people who don't have fire for fireplaces that's used to stir the coals and stuff like that so you don't obviously touch the coals yourself so for those who don't have those things so anywho all right now that we have that we can bust the window open here and let in some light. Oh, light! Ah, oh, ah, ah. Alright, but that's not enough light. We need something else to uh, direct the light or magnify it. Well, we've got a couple of uh, uh, standing mirrors here, so... Yeah, the way you're supposed to tell that's a mirror is the reflection there. It's not very well pronounced, but that's how you're supposed to tell. So, anyway, let's move this around. Boom. Now we got a light source. So, yeah, see, it now it's reflecting right in front of the door. All right. Smile, you son of a bitch. Now, if you don't do that, uh, the cutscene starts exactly the same, except instead of the light hitting him, it just says game over. Um, I might die once at some point if I have a save prepared or whatever just to show you like what the death screen screen looks like but for now let's keep moving on all right oh we can grab one of these move them or keep it in our inventory okay but yeah all right let's uh i don't think there's anything else in here i think that's it it's just here to like di direct the sunlight so well we've done with that guy so yep we're done with everything in there oh yeah that poor guy he was i guess he was just standing there i guess to and maybe freak people out thinking that there's someone there. Or maybe someone explored this and got killed by that bat creature or whatever it's called. I can't release sun there, so... Alright, let's uh, go out and just uh, use that poker on that other window. And up. Luckily, the light protected me. Dang it! There's more of them! Should have known. They're probably the black... Maybe those are the black arts, so... Alright, this room... We still have to move in, because... Yeah, as you can see, there's no interaction. There's no like, gear or anything like that, so... Move forward... And luckily, because of the 
Uh, and yeah, we can't affect him because there's no gear on him or whatever. I mean, we can pull out the gun, but as you saw before, it didn't do anything. So yeah, this is definitely not a guns blazing type of game. So we need to figure out how to use that sun to our advantage. So, oh, there we go. All right, let's take the mirror. Now, if you did grab it, obviously you could just go back and you'll be fine, but. Well, that was easy. All right, can we keep the mirror or? Nope, okay. I don't think there's, like I said, I'm a bit familiar at the beginning part for recording purposes, but like I said, after this, we'll, I'll be like pretty much in the dark like everyone else. So, oh, oh I can now affect this. Mm. Well, I bet, uh, you know, I have, a, I have a strong feeling that something else is waiting for us. So let's take advantage of what we can do. So let's see if we can use, can we, no, we can't use that. No, no. Like I said, we're at, we're at the part where, where I'm a little unaware of what to do. Well, I mean, we'll figure it out, but you know, oops, didn't need to click that. Nothing there, nope. Looks like we just, yeah, it looks like I can't do anything here, so, all right. So nothing here, and I don't think these matches can be used on anything else. It's probably something I'll have to come back to after a while. Yeah, okay. Can't do anything in there. Oh, we had to pop it off there. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Uh-oh. Shite. All right. Whoa. Is that a... Oh, no, that's the stairs. So there's one, two, three. Uh, but luckily, because of the light, they can't uh, go past this point. And obviously, if I go forward, I get eaten. So... Uh-oh. Okay. It's probably because there's not enough of a uh, protection there. So they're probably weeding out their forces. So let's see if we can find anything over here before. Oh, I probably can w swing on the swing set. So, okay. So yeah, I probably want to save it here just in case if you're worried. Because it showed an arrow there. So what it, uh, probably what's going to do is it's probably going to kick me over there, I bet. So let's see if we can do that. I don't think I see anything else. It gives us at least a few moments to check around. So, all right. Nice. We used the reflection in the chandelier to reflect all the sunlight. I didn't think you could do it like that, but hey, that works. So, all right, for now, we are safe. So now we can go back to exploring the mansion as we please. So now that we have that, uh, um, yeah, I wonder where they were hiding, though. They just popped up out of nowhere. They clearly didn't come from outside. So, hmm. Anyway, now that we have that poker, we can now uh, bust up these wood planks. A door inside. We don't have anything. We'll have to come back later to affect whatever is up there. All right. Hopefully we won't run any more of that black guard, but who knows. If that's the black guard. Like I said, I don't know if it's the monsters or the human opponents. Because he did say something about having to rely on the humans, and he hated that, so I don't know. So it looks like a doorway. We'll have to figure out how to open that. Nothing here. Yeah, we're basically at the part of the game that I haven't played to yet. So from here on out, it's basically, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I'll just figure out, kind of like in the previous game. So I might be missing, like, objects or clicking on them incorrectly. Unless like we can't go through that, or at least nothing's highlighting. Unless I can... No, can't either. Okay. Yeah, we're not at shooting section, so... All right, let's go over here. Let's see what we can find. Oh, ho. What's this? Now, move that crate there. Does that move it back? Oh, I just, I don't think I saw that. I wonder if that was there before and I just missed it. Well, let's check it out. Grab that. So we got the fourth one. So now we can probably deal with whatever's outside in that little area. But let's move that back. Check that. Oh, some pliers. Nice. 
Okay, I don't know what we'll need those for, but we'll need them for something. I don't think there's there wasn't anything here I could use it on right yet, can I? At least nothing that's popping up immediately. Let's see, there wasn't anything here. So probably Yeah, nothing here. So I bet we have to go outside at this moment. So it looks like Jonathan Harker's story's only just begun. He's already defeated four, like, well, let's see. How many is he? One, two, three, four, five. He's already defeated five vampire or bat demon things or whatever. So he's he's already got a kill count in the first game. I, I made fun of the fact he killed people, but technically he just knocked him out in the first game. So the only people he... No, I don't think he killed anyone in the first game. So, But now he's already killed five things, but they're, they're monsters. No one cares. So will Jonathan Harker be able to figure out the mystery to Carfax? and figure out what where Dracula is and what to do next. Find out next time in the next episode of Dracula 2 Last Sanctuary. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.